What's up my planning boos? Planning boo print up back with another video so we're planning for the week of the 20th through the 26th using the planner babe classic sticker book as well as the accessory pack and i've already pre-pulled my stickers and put them on wax paper so i'm just gonna start off with this little box sticker and i'm not really gonna like it at the very top like that so i will scoot it down eventually Okay, so now that I have that moved, I added the Planner Babe sticker right underneath it since that is the main theme of the spread. And for Monday through Saturday of this week, I am just going to be making myself a little checklist with my top three things I want to get done on each day. I really did like using these smaller discs to make my bullet points. It was an easy way to mix up all the colors and they were just small enough to be the right size. I do have to work on Monday so this will work for planner supply sticker was was perfect because nowadays that's what I feel like I work for all my planner stuff and I'm adding this full box in quotation sticker on the 22nd but I realized it was a little bit short for the box so I tried relaying it down starting from the top and I realized that it was still short so I wasn't the one tripping this time so now I'm pretty much done with the first part of the week and I am going to the second part of the week doing the same thing just making um, a few checklists but I do want to make sure that on Thursday I schedule myself in for a planner session um, because you got to plan every part of your day and Thursdays and Sundays are my biggest planner days. So I want to make sure that I added that on the page. just in case anybody can't see what those header stickers say they just alternate between saying top priority check it off and focus on is it just me or does this background music kind of sound like juke joint saturday night no just me okay i was just wondering
so I'm just using these little planners just to mark my work days this week which is Monday Friday and Saturday So I do have one major thing I want to remember. So I put that um, sticker down in the bottom corner, as well as one more major thing I need to notate for Sunday. So that's what I'll be putting in that full box. And at the top, I am just gonna make me another notation to have a planner session. So that top sticker says, give me all the stickers. Cause for me, how can you plan without stickers? I know people can plan without stickers. I don't see people do some very cute spreads with my liners and some pens, but I need all the stickers to do my planning. And between the numbers at the top was looking a little naked. So I put some of those bigger discs in between the middle of the numbers just to add a little bit more color and to fill up that open space. And I did like the quote at the bottom and I will be highlighting that quote at the bottom with some larger disc as well. But I used all of the stickers that was on my page. And, okay, I had to bring in some little doll stickers. One, because I haven't been using any. And two, even though this spread has a lot of color, it still looked a little bit plain to me. So I had pulled out some of my Oso Paper doll stickers. And this girl here, she's just planning away in her planner. And I'm just going to take another one of these planner sesh stickers and put it right underneath her to fill in that space. I mean, I can deal with some white space, but too much makes me nervous because I keep thinking that a sticker could go there and fill the space up very nicely, just how that one did. these little stickers cute I was trying to give y'all a close-up because I do know they're small but the camera didn't focus as quickly as I would have liked it to but I am just kind of spreading out a lot of these peekaboo stickers um, so they're not all clumped together so I was trying to find the perfect space for them so I did do quite a bit of picking up and putting down Especially when it came to using one of these corner stickers. I don't know. That was my can't get right sticker for the day. I think every sp spread I have one sticker that can't get right.
So I finally did end up getting that corner stick of the work. And I'm just going to leave it there. And I'm just going to move this top one down to where that quote is on the right side of the page. Because I felt like it was just a little bit too cluttered with the girls there. But I like how it looks like she's peeking out over the quote. And I started flipping through the book again um, because my sidebar was looking really plain and I was trying to see was there any long boxes in this book but the only long box that I could find was the one for taking a trip or a packing list or whatever and I didn't want to use that so eventually I will pull out my colorful boxes to save the day like it always does So yes, while I'm adding this final touch, um, I do like how the spread turned out. Um, it's a little bit more colorful for my taste than I normally like, but to me, it still turned out pretty cute and functional with a, more than enough space for me to write all of my important things to get done every day. And put this doll sticker right back here and I think it is cute so I'm just gonna pop this back into my planner and I'm gonna give y'all a glimpse of my after the pen from last week which turned out very nicely and this is this week so shout out to my new subscribers old subscribers hit that post notification bell and that like button and I'll see y'all in the next one bye